Hi, we are Team Quantum Robotics and we are proud to present our 2024 System Assessment Review for the University Robot Challenge. We learned a lot from last year's competition. That's why we focused ourselves on improving the core systems of our robot. We implement a differential suspension system inspired by Rocker Body. This arrangement allows the rover to maintain its wheels in contact with the ground while passing through irregular terrains such as inclined plants, rocks, sands, and fragile structures without compromising the integrity of any of the systems. Furthermore, we design a sort system that provides a directional drive to the rover for better maneuvering in tight spaces as well as optimizing trajectories. The newly designed TPU wheels provide outstanding traction as well as added stability. In addition, the improved mechanical design based on sandwich composites provides us with high specific strength while maintaining overall low mass. Our battery system consists of a high discharge clip of batteries, ideal for supplying the necessary power to brushless motors and other rover devices. In addition, the rover has a complete control power system that allows us to monitor the main voltage and current supplied to each component. All of them are secured with a dedicated fuse per actuator. We designed our own PCBs to reduce wiring and increase the efficiency and safety of our electronic system. On our control board, we have different communication interfaces to control different peripherals and actuators. As Also, the rover has a main breaker, which can cut the power to all motors in case of emergency. Our communication link over the 900 MHz frequency bands consists of transmitting and receiving radio waves between the base station, which has a 16 dBi gain directional antenna that transmits a focus signal to the rover, which has a 5 dBi omnidirectional antenna. Our whole system is controlled with the Robot Operating System 2 Foxy. We take advantage of different packages and our compatibility with different programming languages that can help us while we are achieving our goals. The ones that we use most are Python, C++, and JavaScript. Furthermore, our rover uses a JSON or Nano as our main computer so we can work with complex algorithms without compromising our performance. For autonomous navigation, we implemented a navigation stack that uses a U-Blocks F9 PGPS in order to locate the rover and track its movement. We also use an IMU in order to measure its angle and a set to eye camera for object detection and obstacle avoidance. The rover calculates a direct route from its current position to its target position. And once the routine starts, it's ma it makes constant adjustments to ensure that it stays on the right path. Once we reach the GNSS coordinates, the algorithm will perform different actions depending on the type of goal. If there is no AR tag or other object, it'll stop and the matrix will change to a green blinking color. Otherwise, the robot will start a spiral search routine in parallel to a detection algorithm that uses OpenCV functions and AI models. And the robot attack by turning its own axis at the coordinate of a mesh pattern until the costume detector gets attacked. For the final part, the robot will approach the attack by aligning itself with a specific object, then approaching until the camera measures a distance below one meter. We designed a robotic arm with six degrees of freedom that allows us to complete tasks such as manipulating small objects, typing, and operating with a joystick, and finally carrying with a five kilogram payload. The planetary gearboxes and warm gear mechanism in our arm allow us to provide high efficiency payload. Furthermore, they are implemented with a CAN protocol, which provides us feedback from sensors to apply a closed loop position controller. We are also using Maxon motors, which provide us with precise movement and enough strength to carry the arm and the payload. We use forward and inverse kinematics for our robotic arm, which can be controlled by a graphic user interface. For this season, the science team developed an optimized laboratory for the light detection analysis using visible light spectrophotometry. The soil samples will be collected and placed in the science model in which the qubits are pool loaded with three colorimetric reagents. These color changes will indicate the presence of different biomarkers such as simple carbohydrates, proteins, and polysaccharides. For the soil moisture analysis, we chose a hollow drill bit mechanism to collect the sample. Our interface is capable of analyzing the sample colors so we can get the average color of each analysis. This process aids with the determination of the possible presence of life. It has the ability to perform the static graphic profile. We are continuing implementing a rock table database on our web interface. It contains useful information about the samples we collect. It has a system of filters that contains three main categories, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks. 